So I was wrong. Gabby got through. I was right about that. I didn't think Caleb would get through. I still don't think he's as strong as the others. But my kid went home and Michael went home. But Maddie, the under, she got through. She's when if she won, I would probably I'd be like so happy. I won't be happy if Caleb wins, even though he's a total sweetheart. Um, he's just never been my favorite. But if Maddie won, I would be really thrilled because she's so genuine and authentic. And she even started to say, you know, I, I don't even care. She started to say, I don't care who wins. You know, we're all such great friends. And then last time she was saying weeks ago, I would have been happy just to get to the top 24. Now she's in the finale. But I'm not thrilled with, with, obviously, with Caleb making it over Michael or Cade, um, but that was the audience votes. So I actually think Gabby should win, but, no, we'll see. I still don't know how they're setting it up next week, but I at least got some answers. I got the answer that it's going to be on Sunday and Monday. So, I don't know how that's going to work. Are they going to vote them off, vote one off on Sunday, and then have two come back on Monday for the real finale? The showdown between the two? I mean, they can't have three in the finale. Maybe they are going to have three in the finale. Are they going to do it differently? I don't know. I don't know. They're all sweet. They're all great. Cade went home. So, next week I'll vote for Gabby. You know, if there isn't next week. If there is no. It's really late. I'm really tired. But today I didn't give a fuck about forcing myself to stay awake. And I crashed on the couch for hours. So. And then I wanted to talk to my Joe. I wish I hadn't got his hopes up. I completely slipped my mind that I have an Omar. I forgot. Oh, I'm human. I forgot. I got all excited. Thinking, you know, because Joe didn't even hesitate. He let you know about me coming there. And then after I, I was still on the phone with him, I didn't say anything. I just emailed him after we hung up. But Omar was crying to go out. He had to, he wanted water. Um, Joe had to go to bed anyway. to get ready for work. Um, to go to work tomorrow, you to get ready for bed. And I'm like, oh, fuck! I'm getting all excited about seeing Joe, and I forgot about Omar. Fuck! Oh, fuck. But remember, as I've already said, the same things that I would be afraid, I'd just be afraid something would happen to Omar. No? But I could be feel that way even when, when, and again, my mom's probably not going to agree to it anyway. I'm not going to try to convince her. Oh, she adores Joe, and she, she would understand that I would like to go see Joe. Um, just be for a week. I wouldn't go for very long. But yeah, I'd be anxious the entire time. I am anxious whenever I'm away from Omar, you know. But the same things I'd be worried about are the same things I worry about when my mom comes for a visit. That something will happen to Omar. That, you know, that my mom, well, I had to tell her, you know, you have to be really careful of him. And sometimes she'll sit down and, and you can't assume either. Like, if he's in one spot, just so you know about the Omar. And if he's, and remember now, he's totally blind, so he has, depends on us to watch out for him. He can't watch out for us, you know, the way that he could when he was able to see, you know. So, what I had to train my mom, I had to teach my mom is, if you get up to go to the bathroom, and Omar is under the covers, and you think, oh, he's under the covers, you cannot go, you cannot go and sit down where you were previously. You do not know that Omar hasn't moved. It happens. You cannot, and I've watched her just start to sit without looking. So, that makes me nervous, okay? You know, but my dog is completely blind and 11 years old now. I can't just not have any type of life at all. You know, so if, if my mom's willing to do it, I would be nervous, yes. I'd be constantly anxious. 
But I spend my life constantly anxious, hence the little four line verse to a song or poem or lyric to, you know, where I said, you know, I can still have fun even, you know, even if I'm anxious all the time. That might not be your life, but it's always been mine, you know, to the truth. Anyway, who knows what will happen. It can't happen that soon. I have to get the license. Here in Massachusetts, they, they've been having huge problems at the, you know, the DMV all around Massachusetts because they've Im implemented new stricter, stricter um, policies regarding getting new licenses and whatnot, and there were horror stories, and, you know, I've needed a new license for a little bit of time, but I didn't bother going to get it, and then I feel like it. That's all. I feel like it. I would really love to see Joe. And not just for a few hours, like when he came to visit here. Um, when he picked me up, we went to the beach just for a few hours on his vacation a couple of so years ago. You know, I would like to go and visit him. He invited me last year and I said, no, I can't have the Omar. Remember last year, even though my mom was back in my life, you know, tentatively, so whatever, because she reached out to me, not the other way around. And that's not because I wouldn't have wanted to reach out to her. I just didn't think she wanted anything to do with me anymore. And, com you know, compounded by the fact she's under the total thumb of her sister. So, last year, I wouldn't have been able to ask her to stay. She wouldn't have been allowed by her sister to stay here for a week and watch Omar. Now, my mom's her own person. And if she wanted to do that for me, she could. Um. Yeah, I would be nervous the entire time. But I spend my life being nervous. I spend my life in anxiety. I'm nervous flying, nervous existing, nervous about Omar. Live in constant anxiety over my mom. You know, as I've said, both my 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 mom and my dog are now el elderly. Of course, I'm going to live in constant anxiety. It's just the way it is. It is what it is. You know. But last year when Joe asked, I'm like, how am I supposed to do that, Joe? You know, my mom can't, you know, but, but, but now she's her own person. She could come here and watch Omar if she, if, she, if she were willing to do so. And I wouldn't want to put any pressure on her. But if she agreed to it, it would be under this, the, this, the, the stipulation that she wouldn't leave the house. She would stay here with Omar and not leave the house. Because it gets too complicated having to leave the house and, and put him in the crate. And, you know what I mean? And she leaves for all day long. And I stopped putting it in it. It would be summertime, you know? Whereas I put him in the bath. It's just, I think it would be too much to remember. I think it would be easier if she just stayed here and watched TV and spent the time with Omar for a week. You know? It's just one week. As a favor to me. But I would ask her on the honor system up front to please just not leave the house. I would just stay here with him. Just for a week. And again, we'd do a trial run where I would have her take care of Omar for a few days while I was here just observing, you know. But I'd be in constant communication with her. I can call her and remind her, you know, put Omar out to go to the bathroom, feed Omar. I can call her and remind her. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen anyway. Like I said, I don't even have a license, so it certainly isn't going to be as, as going to happen as quick. I forgot about Omar. I got all excited. 
Joe told me how much vacation he gets every. He doesn't even. He's not even sure, but he knows he gets. His, you know, and I got all excited. And all Joe said was, "What about your mom?" And I'm like, "Well, my mom. My mom has people helping her. My mom lives alone. She takes care of herself. It's not. I can leave for a week. Nobody. But I forgot about Omar, and I forgot that I don't have a license. So anyway, the finale, I guess, is a two-part thing next Sunday and Monday. It was Caleb, Michael. I mean, Caleb." Ma um, Maddie and Gabby. I believe Gabby should win. I definitely don't think Caleb should win. But, you know, it's not up to me. And it's not fixed or anything, you know. I might be cynical in this life, but I'm not that cynical. I don't believe this is fixed. I believe that I personally feel that, that Kate, both Kate and Michael are... are are more talented than Caleb, but actually they're not. That's the thing. They're all phenomenal. I think what Katie said rings true, though, that Caleb is not as strong a performer, but voice-wise and whatnot, they're just all equal, and including Caleb. Oh, I haven't not felt that. I haven't. I've, I've felt that way ever since. You know, finally, finally. Garrett, Garrett and Johnny were gone. You know what I mean? Then I feel like they were all equal and it's just popularity contest. Also, that other one, I forget his name. The one that was from the, um... From, um... I don't know, I didn't think it was that strong either. Anyway. Whatever, since we've gotten higher up. I mean, Journey was fantastic. Don't tell me Journey wasn't as phenomenal a singer as any of these now in the finale. Of course she was. You know? Oh, ever since G Garrett, Johnny, and Michelle were gone. Then that other one. But who went home last week? I can't remember now. We were five this week. We were seven last week. Oh, Journey went home last week, right? Journey went home and... But still going to be in, in the finale. Because there's seven in the finale, right? Oh, God, I can't... It makes me puke. I can't even remember these people from one week to the next. Oh, okay. Last week, it was Katie and Journey went home. Okay, so I didn't did remember. I didn't jog my memory. I had to just think for a second. Katie and Journey went home. So, it's Caleb, Maddie, and Gabby. And I will be voting for Gabby because I think she should win. Out of those three, anyway. But I wouldn't even, I wouldn't be upset at all, wouldn't even bad an eyelash, wouldn't even be upset, wouldn't even whatever, if, if Maddie won. She's such the underdog. Her style is just so different. She's t not certainly not your typical American idol, that's for damn sure. But do I think she'll win? No. I, I, I think Gabby. I think, I think Gabby and Caleb are going to be in the finale. And it wouldn't surprise me if Caleb wins, even though I don't feel like he should win. So. But I, I think Gabby should win. I'm sure Maddie's in shock, though. She's in the fucking finale. She said, like I said, she originally said a few weeks ago, she, she 
didn't think she, she's like I just uh, I never even dreamed past that I thought I'd be happy if I just made it to the top 24 and look at her now her voice is so unique I can't say that about Gabby you know what I mean Gabby's a performer but is she is her voice unique no Maddie's voice is unique and actually so is Caleb's whereas but Gabby is just, you know, there's a lot of ones. They, they, they're calling her a, a copycat, you know, like a, 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 like of Carrie Underwood, you know? So. Magic Maddie won. I don't think she'll win. But I wouldn't be upset if she did. And if Caleb wins, then he wins, you know? Just because he's not my favorite. He's still phenomenal. They're all phenomenal. So I'm going to bed. Good night.